Hey, calm down, Cloud. No! Dumbass. Oh, he actually recovered this time. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to cliffhang you like that, viewers. Oh, who am I kidding? You know you love it. Yeah, Cloud, quit whining. He's already killed, well, your entire family, and well, now your other girlfriend. Okay, it's boss time. So, first things first, big guard as always. And magic hammer, why not? And we have to fight another Genova creation, or body part, or... Whoa, that's a little too loud there. <laughs> okay, time to turn down the volume just a tad there. <laughs> and now, she, yeah, now she's going to cast Reflect. I can't deplete her of all her MP, unfortunately. I suppose if you had Reflect on yourself, it might do something, but... There we go, Aqualung. Okay, now we can go all out against her. Yeah, Cloud took a little bit of damage there, but that's the best way of learning Aqualung. Or the most convenient way, I should say. Yeah, physical attacks are the way to go with Cloud and Red 13. I'll probably have Sid cast Comet next if I get a chance. Let's just fast forward through this. There we go. Ooh, not bad. Genova only has 10,000 HP, so we should be able to deal with that. Do I need to heal? No, I do not. Especially since Genova is dead now. Well, we didn't get Sephiroth, but well, we gotta get revenge on someone. A puppet? What do you mean by that? Oh, another typo. Be a cause. Uh... Now we'll have to find out what Sephiroth or Genova or whoever meant about that.
So I just always get a little choked up in that scene. Listen to me. I'm not crying. Yeah, I'm not crying. If you didn't cry the first time you saw that scene, you're a monster. I've never shown someone, you know, so attached to the main character like that get killed off like that. At least not to my knowledge. So what's going on, Cloud? I mean, you, you resisted the urge to kill Eris. You just kind of stood there while Sephiroth did the job, but... Uh, it wasn't a part of you. Sephiroth was the one who manipulated you to give him the Black Materia. Well then, who's going to lead the party? The main character has to lead the group. Oh, no, he is going along. Oh, okay. My desire for revenge is greater than my desire to do the right thing and just step out of the way for real heroes. Well, we're all kind of here, you know, as long as we're here. Why not? Need to get some better weapons while I'm at it anyway. So they just killed her off, and that was it. You know, no reasoning behind it, just, eh, figure we might as well get rid of her. Why not? No, they explain it later. Don't worry, viewers. And that is all for the events on Disc 1 of Final Fantasy 7! Wow, that took quite a long time. Now, you can save here if you want, but I don't want to. And now we have to go to Disc 2. Man, it took me how many episodes to do this? About as many as it took me to do an entire SNES series. Uh, but don't worry, viewers. Discs 2 and 3 are m shorter. Well, even discs 2 and 3 combined are much shorter than disc 1 alone. Much shorter. I mean, there's a few side quests, but I'm going to off-screen most of that. So don't worry. I mean, there's still a lot to go, but not that much. Not as much as disc 1. So we'll be in good shape. So let's see. Anything else? Uh, oh, yeah. I want to take a day or two off before starting disc two and moving on with the rest of the game. So that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I hope you've enjoyed the scenes of disc one and next time we'll be moving on to disc two and finding out what else we can do to save the world. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.